When it comes to hardware design, essentials really come out out of nowhere and set a pretty good industry standard. The Essential Phone is something that a lot of people have talked about and we finally have got our hands on it here aboard at work. We've taken a good look at what this device actually brings to the table. It is well designed. I'll put it out there. It is a well designed smartphone and it looks really good. Now the Essential Phone comes in at a 5.7 inch display and now that is an IPS 2K display. It is also one of these borderless displays, really, really thin bezels as you can see all around. What, what really highlights that is also the fact that devices like this usually have some bezel space on the top and you don't have that. You have a centrally located front facing camera at the top of the device that really separates it and sets it apart so you can get a lot of screen real estate. It looks really good. I have to tell you, when you hold this device in your hands, it looks good. And you can see even with the wallpaper of All Might, which you can download on our Pinterest page, so go ahead and check it out. It looks like he's, he's running or he's basically passing by a window and you're viewing it. And that's what you get when you hold this device. This is a showpiece into the device. Now, it's built around a titanium frame, this device, and you've got a Snapdragon 835 processor housed into the essential phone four gigs of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage with no micro SD expansion. So you cannot expand that, which is a bummer. Now, the other things that you find is USB type C. There is no headphone jack. So you have to use a USB type C headphone or of course, Bluetooth connectivity with this device to listen to your music. Now, besides that, uh, when you flip the phone to the back, you have a centrally located fingerprint sensor, which is actually pretty snappy. And you also have a dual uh, camera setup, 12 megapixel dual camera setup at uh, the rear, as well as also a snap-on for accessories. And one of the accessories we got to take a look at was a 360 camera. And we got to see the 360 camera in different forms and shades. They had a couple of prototypes you know, that we got to look at as well as also the final unit. It's easy to snap on. That's one of the cool things about that accessory is really a snap-on piece, simple and easy. But I will tell you this, while using the 360 camera and also using uh, the, uh, connected to the phone, it ran super hot. Now, not that it ran hot, I think, this is just me, I think the titanium casing really comes to play there because it felt hotter than it should. Performance didn't slow down anything, so I'm taking it that, of course, that is just heat dissipation, I think, off the case, which is a slight bummer for me. But that being said, though, what I also liked with this device is the fact that it is a close to stock Android experience that you get. It is smooth and simple, it is really nice. Fast, smooth, nothing in terms of uh, bloatware software. It just felt very responsive and I didn't feel like I was going through anything that bogged the, the software down. That was a good thing. Now, the essential phone here is going to retail for around 750. You can pick it up unlocked or as well as also through a carrier partnership in the US, which of course is Sprint. And I have to say that there's something about the device that, I, that just brings in the very really nice clean experiences altogether. A lot of people are looking for stock Android devices that can do things like that. And I think Essential Phone brings some of that to the market. Now we have to see what they do with accessories and the clip-on as it comes down the line. And also want to see what they do with the Ambient OS, which is one of the main backbones of the Essential Phone, which is something that you can't necessarily tell immediately because it's not, there's not a lot that works with it yet or low devices. But the, a brief synopsis is Ambient OS, which is part of Essential Phone, is an online operating system that lets you connect your device, which would be the essential phone, to other devices without you having to take the time or stress to do that. So basically, uh, if you think of it in the smart home arena, your essential phone can connect to anything, whether it's be it something from a competitor or something they make, you don't have to actually go ahead and do all the work and try to set it up because the OS in the background sets that up for you. We have to wait and see. That's a really big promise and hopefully they can deliver on that. But in terms of the essential phone itself, it really looks good. It's got a gorgeous display. It can also be a little bit reflective. We'll see how that works. Now the battery is a 34, uh, 3,040 milliamp battery in there. So you've got a sizable battery for a device that small in terms of footprint because it feels like a 5.2 inch device with a 5.7 inch display. So it's fit in there and it just looks good. So we just have to wait and see. Now, if you have any thoughts of picking up the Essential Phone, let me know. Go ahead and use our link down below if you want to do that. If you already picked up an Essential Phone, you have it, 
I wanna hear your thoughts. What do you think about the device in terms of just using it from day to day? How do you feel about the Essential phone? Otherwise guys, don't forget to like and share this video. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and hit the notification icon to get notified with our latest videos. Now this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy the entertainment.